So first of all, let's go over uh, the telescopes that I use. Um, the first one, and we'll go from smallest to largest, the first one's an Explore Scientific 4-inch F6.47 refractor uh, on an alt azimuth mount. And um, it's an acromat, um, but it really does have good optics for being an acromat. I, I enjoy uh, taking this smaller telescope out. Uh, it does get really nice deep sky views. Um, I use it for short nights or grab and go, um, but and, and as a sidekick for maybe it's for the, one of the larger scopes, I may take it with me. So I, I do use it for galaxy log, but mostly for like brighter galaxies or if it's just a short night. The next one is um, a GSO six inch F5 newt on a go-to mount. This is actually my wife's scope. Um, I haven't used this much on uh, for Galaxy Lock, uh, but I plan on, on doing that. Um, I, I like the, the six inch uh, F5 Newt is a, is a nice compact telescope um, that, can, that can actually see a lot you know, for, for its size. So I plan on using this a little bit more for Galaxy Lock. And then um, is my Bresser 8.2 inch F3.9 Newt. This is kind of like a hybrid scope where um, most most people seem to use it for uh, astrophotography, but it's also can be used for visual. And uh, I don't do astrophotography, but uh, it's a nice, really nice visual scope. It has really good mirror, in it, a really nice mirror. In it. And of course I use a combo corrector for it, uh, but it's it's kind of my my mid-size telescope now, my, my go-to mid-size telescope, which I also have on a go-to mount. Same mount as actually it's on the, on the six inch. Then we have my newest scope, the Orion Optics UK VX 12 inch F4, uh, a really nice uh, compact, but large telescope. Uh, it's lightweight, easy to set up, of course, um, very comfortable to use. You can, as I explained in the video uh, for Galaxy Lock for the summer, you can actually sit uh, on your observing chair and view with this telescope. Excellent mirror, great mirror in this telescope. Uh, I plan on, uh, you know, putting digital setting circles on it and uh, some type of drive system on it, maybe a drive platform or something. So um, this one will be uh, used a lot for Galaxy Log. Then we have my good old uh, homemade 12 and a half inch F4.8 Dob with Parks Optics. G great mirror in there, really good mirror in there. Um, this, this scope was made back in 1993. It's large and bulky, it's made of wood. Um, my plan is to um, actually m maybe here where I, where I live, um, put a small roll of roof observatory and have this in there. Uh, the sky's here where I live. I, I live on a winery. My wife is a co-owner of a winery. And uh, the sky's, like I said, are pretty decent. And this would be my uh, scope that I would a larger scope for for home so that's that's probably what's going to be its primary use and then last but not least is my largest telescope is my astro system is 22 inch f45 dob with steve swayze optics uh, excellent mirror uh, i mean steve swayze is known to make really fine quality large mirrors and this one's no exception great mirror in there and i plan on using this one a lot more Okay, uh, the first galaxy. Um, now I've seen this one before. This is an interesting small galaxy in Cepheus. It's a barred spiral, and you can see here's the bar crossed here. Um, and I've seen it in, in a number of telescopes. Uh, I actually did a galaxy log with it a couple of years back, uh, but w with uh, I think it was my eight-inch refractor number off the top of my head. But so the plan is to actually uh, do it do a galaxy log with the 22 uh, on this galaxy. I've seen it with, I've seen it with the 22 before um, and picked up a lot of detail, uh, but I would like to do a galaxy log for it. So the plan is to get to this galaxy and do a galaxy log for it. Another one that I've seen many times before in various telescopes, and it's a really good galaxy in Pegasus, it's NGC 7448. Um, it's an inclined spiral going north to south. And what's interesting, um, and I have seen this also in the 22, 
um, is these H2 ridges are knots here on its northern point or northern tip um, that I have seen. And uh, if you have a really good night and uh, good dark skies, that's one of the things you might want to try for. But overall, the galaxy is really, really a good galaxy. And I've done galaxy log again with this uh, for this uh, galaxy, but with smaller telescopes. So the plan is to uh, do this galaxy for galaxy log uh, with the 22. Uh, this is a really nice galaxy that's not well known. Um, it's a very elongated galaxy. Um, you know, highly inclined. It's not edge on, but it's in highly inclined. It's uh, it can be seen in, in mid-sized telescopes, and uh, I have not done a galaxy log uh, for this one. So my plan is to do a galaxy log for this for this guy. It could be with. Uh, one of the mid-sized telescopes or, or the big or the biggest scope, the 22, but plan is to do a galaxy log for this one. And here's uh, an area that I haven't uh, observed in for a long time. Uh, it's the NGC 62, or excuse me, 7265 uh, group in Lucerta. And that's this galaxy right here, the brightest galaxy in the field down here. And you can see there's some other galaxies around, a couple NGCs. Here's a nice edge on NGC 7264. Some other ones here to the east uh, in a row here. And then you have uh, a neat little edge on up here. It's a UGC galaxy and then another UGC galaxy down here. So uh, the plan is to uh, go for this area uh, for the 22. So hopefully we'll get a good night. Another one um, that I want to do also with the big guy um, is this interacting pair here in Pisces, uh, 7714, which is this galaxy here, and 7715, which is the, this uh, small, elongated galaxy, very distorted, also in Pisces. Um, problem though is, is that it sits around this, or they sit around very, very closely to this six or six and a half magnitude star. So, then, you know, I'll need uh, good dark skies uh, without any haze, because you don't want any haze with, from the bright star interfering with the view. Also, you're going to need uh, uh, higher magnification. So that's, so that's my uh, plan then to get this pair with the 22. And then uh, another group of galaxies that um, I haven't seen for a long, long time. And uh, there's four, obviously. And it's the NGC 833 group. And 833 is this galaxy right here. And you can see it's an interacting pair here. Some stuff going off NGC 835. And then it has the other two galaxies here. But this is an actual true group. Um, so I'm anxious to go for it with uh, either the 12 inch or the 22. So that's my plan and do a galaxy log for this. So that's it um, for this planning session or pre-galaxy log. Clear dark skies and happy galaxy observing.